and I'm just um, applying it to my eyelid area. Not really going above that, so. Yep. So the base has been applied and now I'm going to start with the eyeshadow and the color is green. I'm patting it in again. Just to make sure it is well blended. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to apply a color in my crease area and I'm going to use a blending brush to do that. And the color that I'm going to apply is um, this brown script by MAC. It's like a brick orange type red. And I want to mix that with a little bit more like a light brown here. So I'm going to tap that on my brush, tap off any excess, and I'm just going to go right into my crease there. Using a light hand just to make sure you don't apply too much because you can always go back and apply more if you need, but if you apply too much, it's kind of hard to fix it up. I mean, it can be done, but it's hard. So I'm just blending that in. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. But I'm always experimenting with makeup. I, well, I like to do it more, but I don't get a chance to do it as often as I like. So when I do get a chance, I'm very happy. And I try to wear it all day. <laughs> But yeah, this is like a fall look that I'm trying to create here. And I was inspired by this picture that I did see on Pinterest. So that's where um, this makeup look is deriving from. So I've applied that color into the crease. So now what I want to do is, I think I'm going to pack on some more green because I want it to be a little bit more intense. And what I'm going to do is kind of wet the brush. Put a little bit of water on here. I don't have like a Max Matte Fix Plus spray or anything like that, which I need to get, but we'll talk about that later. So I'm going to spray this a little bit with some water and apply it. The brush is wet now. And actually I found a little bit of darker or more vibrant type green from this um, e.l.f. palette that I have. So I'm gonna try to see if that gives me a little bit more of the effect that I was going for. So again, just tapping that on my lid. Yeah, that's a little brighter. Yep, that's giving me the look but I was going for more of an intense green, so very nice. Okay, so the green has been applied and I did go back into the Max Brown Script and apply a little bit more of the um, Brown Script eyeshadow into the crease of my eye with a little bit light brown to blend out the edges. So now I'm going to go ahead with the eyeliner and I'm gonna use this Urban Decay um, eyeliner. It's called Psychedelic Sister. So I'm just gonna apply that to my waterline and smudge it out a bit. So I'm gonna use this mirror just to get a better and more precise application. And I'm applying that to my entire waterline here. Sorry, I was off camera. And I want this to be pretty intense too, so I'm gonna pack it on pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, do the same to the next eye. So I have applied the purple eyeliner to both the, my bottom um, waterline. And so I'm just gonna go in and apply a dark plum type purple on top of that to set it and to give it a more of a vibrant look. To 
see the difference. Okay, so that is complete. Now we are going to just smudge it out a bit with a smudger. Being gentle in this area because I always poke myself in the eye by mistake. So, yeah. All right. So, next is going to be some eyeliner. I'm going to apply just a tad bit of, well, maybe I'm lying, maybe a little bit more. And I'm going to use this Sigma um, gel liner. It's called Wicked. And I'm going to use the Sigma brush to go with it. I'm not sure which one this is, but oh, it's the E10 small eyeliner brush. So I'm going to just dip in there and line the top of my eyes. I'm not good at applying this at all. Well, I'm not, you know, this is all. Oh, I got a little bit too much on here. I need to wipe some of it off. Okay. So I always try to start in the middle of my eyelid and just work my way out. Oh, this is such a process for me. I wish I was better at applying this. I've been doing it for a long enough time. I should be good at it, but I don't know. It takes work, I guess. And I'm, I don't really like myself with a winged eyeliner too much, so I just like to wing it out a bit at the end. That's about it. Have you guys have heard that new Janet Jackson song? I absolutely love that song. I've seen um, the, a step that goes with it. I have an attempt to try it, but yeah, it looks really nice. But I really do like that song a lot. I'm going to apply a little bit of um, black eyeliner to the inner rim of my um, eyelid. Not eyelid, but um, lower eyelid just to intensify the look a bit more. So here we go. Okay, so I think I am done with that. So now I think I should apply um, some foundation and I'm going to start dropping everything. I'm going to start with this liquid illuminator by Minx. And I love this stuff because it gives you like a nice glow under your um, foundation. So just um, apply that, rub that in really nicely. Who did I see do this before? They like to layer their makeup. Um, I think it's Sandra Dre. Yeah, that's her name. She does this. So I thought it was a nice tip and I do it every now and then, not all the time, but every now and then. You can see the difference it made in my skin. It gave it a glow already. So now I can go in and apply the foundation that I, and I'm gonna use these two by Black Opal. And I absolutely love this foundation because it's a stick. So it's so easy to apply. And I have two colors here. Uh, one is a cool tone and one is a warm tone. So I'm going to apply the cool tone first and it's truly topaz. They are so much alike so I have a hard time trying to distinguish. See how much they look alike? So I'm gonna apply this one first. Yep, 
so simple just to apply it all over your face. You don't need a brush just yet. And you can, you have more control of kind of where you apply the makeup. So I like that. So I use that color as like a contour. And I like to use a brush, but I don't know, I use a brush and this sponge, so I'm gonna use both to just blend it in. Starting in the middle of the face. And I really, besides the, um, it being a stick, I really like the color Black Opal comes in, because it matches my skin, I feel like, almost perfectly. So I really like that about it. Looking good. Sometimes the contour gets mixed all in, but I'm just doing this to get a little definition to my skin. Not trying to be perfect or anything, just cleaning up the look. All right, so go in with this beauty blender just to make sure. Because I always make mistakes with my makeup and don't blend enough and so I end up looking crazy. <laughs> so I try to prevent that these days. But I don't know, it's hard. All right, so I think it's blended pretty good. So now I want to apply uh, my LA Girl Concealer. I have these two, and I think I'm going to apply the one in Almond, just underneath my eye area. And I love the this too, because you can do the same thing. It's an applicator, so you can just apply it wherever you like it to go. That looks scary. All right, so now I'm going to use, what am I gonna use? Oh, my beauty blender to just go ahead and blend that out. So I like to blend it out in like a triangle motion. So going like that and then down and then on, on the side of my nose a bit. And just keep patting until you can get it blended in your skin really well. takes time, so. For a bit more of a contour, I'm going to use this sample product that I got from Black Opal when I made the purchase of those foundation sticks. And this color is Beautiful Bronze, and it's a shade darker than um, the other color I use for contour. So I'm just going to apply it lightly right over where I did before. And blend that in. <laughs> Keep losing it. I'm gonna use this side of it. Kinda blend it upwards. Awesome. Looks pretty good. Got a little bit to do my nose here. So here it goes. Lightly, lightly. Can a little bit more. Be 
beauty blender again and blend that out. No, it looks so much slimmer. Wow. All right, perfect. So now what I want to do is add some mascara. Then I've got to get to my lips. So here it goes. And this one is by Clinique. I'm sure you've seen this a million times somewhere. Um, it is Lash Doubly Mascara. So you get double the volume when you use this. So it's all good. It's all good. And I'm adding lashes, so. No biggie. All right, and I have this mascara by NYX as well. NYX, NYX, I don't know. And it's their skinny mascara, and it's colors in black, and I love this thing because it's so tiny, and you can really get your lashes really good with this. <laughs> you can use it on the top as well. It's not just for the bottom. Lash has been applied, and this is what they look like. And these are by um, e.l.f. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the other one. Okay, so the lashes are applied. And yeah, I had to do that off camera because I don't apply eyelashes that often, so it's not an easy so thing. Back. I had to. Um, upload some of the video on my memory card went out so i applied on my lips the um this mac pencil it's called chicory and i'm going to apply on top of that this nars pencil and this color is called i don't know it doesn't have a color really it doesn't say i don't know i might be missing something but yeah i'm just gonna apply that and this is how it looks do is set my makeup and I'm going to use this color here, Invisible Oil Blocking Powder by Black Opal. And looks like that. So I'm just going to use, oh, sorry. I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to set my under eye. All the places that I highlighted. And to set the contour, I'm going to use this bronzer. This one is by NYC. Using the same brush. And lastly, I want to add a bit more highlight to uh, my face. And I'm going to use this little palette here. Um, it's a black opal palette as well. And there's a gold eyeshadow that I'm just going to dab to the center of my nose. And to right here. And on the sides here. And right here. Keep it full. And we're all set. So this is the completed makeup look. And I really like it. I think it's really pretty. Perfect for fall or anytime. You can wear this look whenever you would like. But we're talking about fall makeup a lot these days. So this is the look for fall for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair down and yeah. All right, so this is the completed look. Thanks for tuning in. Please thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thanks again, YouTube. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.